Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Bus Simulator 18. So you'll notice immediately that the screen doesn't look exactly the way it did the last time we were together. And there's a few reasons for that. Uh, number one, there's been some real life things that have been going on. Uh, they've been good things though, uh, that have given me a lot of hope for the future. So that's actually very good, but it did result in some, uh, some delays in being able to record and things like that. So my recording schedule was definitely affected by some real life things, but they were good things uh, that uh, should work out very nicely in the future for our family. So that much I'm happy about. The downside is um, I actually have attempted to record this particular episode once before and things just did not go well at all. And I finally had to just uh, give up and try to restart. Unfortunately, I can't really go backwards because of the way the game saves. But uh, I'll try to bring you up to speed with where we are on the thing. So where we left off last time, we had a particular route that we needed to finalize and then drive that route. Well, I had some issues at the end of it trying to figure out why it didn't like the route that I had planned. And it's actually this route uh, right over here that begins in Workers Alley. So let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick uh, to begin with. And of course, it wants to continuously... Uh, move everything out of the way. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way as well. So this particular route, it starts down here and what I was trying to do is trying to hit as many of these points and make it a viable long-term route as possible. Well, the thing I was missing and I picked up on it about five minutes after I stopped recording, once I actually stopped, took a breath and, and realized what it was telling me, it wanted me to pick this particular stop. It named it. Uh, rather than just giving me uh, the name of the area, it gave me the specific stop. Once I added that in there, everything was fine. The downside of that is once I got that set up, I drove the route. If we click on it here, you can see we made very little money. I mean, we're used to making uh, 20, 21, 27, I believe is actually our most. Yeah, 27,457. So when I look at this particular route, 11,800, nothing excites me about that particular route because as we've seen before, if we continue to get uh, brand new drivers who are actually brand new, very little experience, then we're going to get half that. That's how we're going to start. So it's going to be very little money and really isn't worth our time right now. I do plan on at some point... Uh, whenever I find a nice place in the career mode where we've got sort of a lull in things and it's going to take me a while to accomplish some of the things they want me to do, then I plan on going back making some adjustments to some of these routes that fall into this less profitable uh, framework and trying to redo those, add some more stops to them, that kind of thing, uh, so that we can continue with some, some pretty efficient routes uh, that make us quite a bit of money as we move forward. Now, one thing I was able to do uh, as we completed that last uh, group of objectives and opened up a new set of objectives, we got our first ads. So here in just a moment, we're going to take a look at how we can add uh, those to our paint scheme and get started making a little bit of extra money every time we drive these routes. Also, in addition to that, we made enough money, as you can tell by our uh, money in the top right hand corner that now we had enough money to purchase a another bus which i did i purchased the same buses and again we'll see those here in just a second when we look at adding uh, the advertisements but and i chose to add it on this particular route simply because it was so lucrative uh, and you can see we'll make sixteen thousand seven hundred from the ai driving that route so now uh, the next bus we get uh, save for anything that we do in the future, it looks like I'm probably going to be adding that AI driver and bus to this particular route since it's pretty good, uh, especially when compared to this. But now moving on to our current objectives before we head over to the advertisements, you can see we need to plan a route with a maximum of eight stops that connects the agricultural zone and the, in, uh, the industry zone, which are the two new zones that we have access to. And they're toward the, the bottom right hand corner. Uh, we're not quite over to the port yet. And it looks like there is another area right down here that we need to uh, unlock. But these are the two. And you can see I've already planned the route. And here it is. I simply started here, drove around there. And then you can see it makes its way back around to the industry zone. And you can see I have maxed out 
the eight stops. So all of these are completely taken care of. I have not driven it yet. So we'll have to see how that works out. But before we do that, which is going to be next on our list, let's actually go over to our bus garage and let's start customizing our bus. So we're going to customize and normally this is where we would be picking out uh, color schemes and skins and all that sort of thing. But actually we're going to go away from custom and we're going to go over to ads. Okay, we're going to click on ads and all but one of these are actually already locked. Okay, and you notice that these ads aren't really ads at all. And I'm sure that was done uh, for uh, the reason that they don't have permission to use that. So it's probably a licensing deal, I'm sure. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just uh, get these applied. And I'm going to apply this to all the buses. Okay, we can apply the current customization to one bus. Okay, so we can't do it. Let's see, would you like to apply? Um, yeah, I thought we already did that. All right, let's go to our other buses and we'll do the same thing there. So apparently when you say apply to all, it only means all of that type of bus. So here, let's do the same thing. Let's go ahead and click on this, make sure we get everything that we need. It's actually not a bad looking ad and we're gonna hit apply to all. That'll give us three. We would like to do that. Yes, I would like to spend that money. And because we want the ads, we want to get as much money as we can. So you can see all of the, we have three of these buses. And the reason is the actual, uh, if we come into the shop, uh, as we've talked about before, this particular bus is just so much more expensive. Uh, and besides the way it appears the AI work is entirely based off of what we make. When we drive the route personally, it's a percentage of that. So I really don't see any reason to purchase one of those unless it's one I want to drive. Uh, and right now we really haven't seen a whole lot of issues with uh, capacity. So I'm holding off in doing that. And besides, if we look over here to level nine, which we are almost halfway through level eight, as far as leveling up goes, uh, this is the type of uh, engine and type of bus that we're going to be getting next. Uh, and that's actually part of uh, where we're going to go, but you can see it's quite expensive for sure. So if we come back over to our route planner and then bring up our current objectives, uh, you can see that we get down into here, the CNG buses. Uh, so we need to get to level nine in order to really work through some of that. And this last bit, the 85% of the bus stops should be on the routes. And who knows, it might take us a little while to get there. So some of these things might take us a little bit of time. But for now, what we need to do is actually drive this new route and move forward and get ourselves a little bit closer to finishing these off. So what I'm going to do is actually highlight uh, this particular route and we're going to hit start that drive. And I am going to choose this last one because I believe all the others shouldn't even be available to me. Uh, we're going to do so at dawn because so far that's the only time I have gotten uh, more passengers, uh, or at least the possibility of more passengers through rush hour. So I'm going to keep trying with that. I do like using the random stuff where you can get rain and nighttime driving and all that, but they don't seem to give us as many passengers. And right now we're trying to maximize that money. So it looks like everything else is good. Let's go ahead and start the trip. Okay, let's get... All right, again, I need to be where I can. Unfortunately, I need to be where I can see the uh, turn signal. Because if I can't see the turn signal, I don't know it's on because the volume isn't loud enough. So we're waiting on, let's go ahead and get these guys. Get stopped. Uh, but one of the things we are waiting on is the very first uh, update to the game, the very first patch. And I'm expecting that really at just any moment. In fact, uh, it is entirely possible that that comes out before this video does, and that would not surprise me at all. In fact, that'll be perfectly fine. I was trying to hold off a little bit because uh, the way it appeared on the forum by the, the way the developers were talking is that, uh, that that might be a very strong possibility. So I was trying to allow for that. Hasn't happened to this point. 
But again, I would expect it uh, toward the beginning of this week. But of course, based on when I have to record this episode, can't really wait on that as long as I would potentially need to in order to let that happen. All right, oh, looks like we've got a pothole there. All right, and I am going to try not to hit anything or anybody. That's always the goal. All right, we have the yield here. And let's see. I, I really wish we had more, more traffic lights because I just never feel good about me and the AI and trying to figure out who's supposed to go. Okay, that guy's turning. All right, I think we can get out right now. Let's try to hurry up and get across. Okay, I think we made it without hitting anything. So far, so good. All right, make sure our blinker is on. There we go. All right, so I'm probably... I'm thinking about it at this point. I'm probably going to be... Uh, getting rid of the ticket system and turning this part of it off here within the next few videos. I haven't really decided yet. I don't mind doing it, but it, it admittedly uh, does take some additional time. And we're at a point where some of these routes are starting to take up uh, more time. And at the beginning, we were doing fairly short routes. And oh, we got a passenger that needs to leave. Right, there they go. Alright, so we need to turn right up here. But yeah, it's just starting to... It's something we've done uh, for... Oh! I got it. So I actually hit that... I actually hit the light pole there. I knew it was only a, only a matter of time before I did that. Now let's just see if I can reduce the number of times it actually happens. Not sure why the ramp is actually out back there. I don't remember hitting that button. But we'll go ahead and bring it back in. And we'll be on our way. But yeah, every time I have to turn to the right in these things, it is just not good because, just like right now, I have to try to make a really wide turn and it is so easy for me to and of course I think the, the game developers did that on uh, purpose they actually put it right there on the edge of the road just so that you will be right uh, next to hitting it every time but yeah these things especially as we continue to get into some some of the uh, larger buses I, I have no idea how I'm gonna be be able to uh, make make our way through the city traffic without just constantly running into stuff because my bus driving skills are certainly not up to to that level all right so far so good I haven't had a whole lot of people that needed a bunch of tickets we'll see if that continues a few here and there okay we need a week ticket regular a couple of them Okay, let's look at our action cam. Looks like nobody else is trying to get on. Let everybody have a seat. All right, I think everybody is seated. And we should be clear to now make our way back out to the connecting road. And if we can do that, that'll have us on our way over to our other area for the last four stops. Let's go ahead and turn on the signal, and again, we've got a, all right, let's see what we've got. 
All right, I'm going to try to go ahead and go. Please don't hit anything. All right, luckily there was nobody in that lane, so I could swing it out a little bit easier. All right, these guys all seem to be turning. Now we should be able to go. Again, just trying to use up all the real estate I can. All right, here we go. Now, hopefully there will be no potholes out here on this section of road because we are moving right along and going way too fast for me to come to a quick stop or at least slow down as much as I would need to. Yep, there was a pothole on the side. That wasn't too bad. We were able to thankfully miss it. Okay, we're coming up to a right-hand turn again, because why not? Okay, swing it in there. Don't hit anything. All right, this one's a little bit easier. Gave me a little bit more room there. Okay, now we're coming up to our first stop in this area. And it looks like we don't have anybody here waiting. But we'll see. We might have a couple of people that, yeah, we got at least one person there. It's getting off. Looks like that is it. All right, just the one person. Okay. All right, let's don't hit any pedestrians, please. Another right-hand turn. Well, I hit a pothole, but I actually thought I was going slow enough that it wouldn't be all that big a deal. Obviously, I was wrong. All right, turn off to the right here. Oh, I have gone the wrong direction. Look at that. I turned right a little bit too quickly. All right, so it looks like we're just going to have to ride the roundabout and make our way back. I could really use some uh, better directions here because it is, I am having a hard time. All right, looks like this guy, as soon as he gets, we can go around. Okay, let me try to pay a little bit closer attention. And yeah, some of these labels that show up on the screen, on the, uh, the GPS part, are not helpful to me because I can't they get in the way and I can't tell where it is I'm supposed to go okay this guy okay sure just come on out okay I think I'm supposed to get off here yeah all right so you can tell in the bottom left hand corner this has of course made us late to our next stop but so be it that's what happens whenever you miss your your turn Okay, again, no lights. All right, let's see if we can make this turn. All right, then we got another right. So, wow, two rights in a row. So once again, I'm going to take up all the real estate that I possibly can. All right, so we're about a minute late for this particular stop. They'll, they'll be mad at me. All right, let's look. We've got several people getting off here. And looks like we've got a few people getting back on. Let's hand out a couple of tickets. And so we've got a weak student... Let's make sure everybody gets to their seats, and yes, looks like we're good to go. Let's go ahead and hop back out. Looks like we're headed over to the water treatment plant. So it's had a few bumps here and there in this particular route. 
But what I'm most interested in is just seeing how profitable it ends up being aside from the mistakes I've made. Because I'm really interested to see how profitable this area of the map is and if I should try to concentrate some more resources over here. Looks like we need some tickets. At least one. Single student and quantity of one. You got it. Exact change. Thank you very much. Okay. Looks like everybody's got their seat. Let's get our blinker back on. And we will head out of here. Oh, please stop. That car got up on me before I could even see it. And these buses don't exactly take off with a great deal of uh, acceleration, so there was no way I was going to be able to beat them out. Alright, here we go. So we got the yield, and since we are going straight, we got to worry about everybody. And there's a whole bunch of people trying to get through here. All right, I'm going to pull out here just a little bit so I can see a little better. All right, we managed to make our way across. I'm not sure how that was supposed to work. Again, it'd be nice to have a few more lights there because I have no idea when the AR are going to go and when they let me go. So sometimes you just have to force your way out there and hope it works out exactly like a real bus driver would do okay this should be our final stop on this particular route there we go let's go ahead and watch everybody help off and I'm sure we're gonna have some trash to pick up or something like that and yep sure is enough all right let's press C Did I miss the trash? Nope, I thought it... There we go. There it is. So we can go ahead and hit end. Always like to get back to our seat first. Go ahead and hit end here and end our trip. So let's see what kind of money we made minus the mistakes I made from that. Okay. Wow. That was... Uh, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. 28,006 you can see we were really close to leveling up several of the stops here. And of course, uh, also we almost made it to level 8. Another good part of that uh, collision and then pothole. Yeah, both of those we already knew about. Okay, very nice. So 28,600. This proves to be a very profitable area. 326 passengers. You can see, I mean, this is quite a bit more than what we've had in the past by a large margin. Some good income from our other drivers. And we'll take a look at our other drivers here in just a moment. But yeah, 28,601. Yeah, that will be, this will be the route that I want to put somebody on next uh, as far as an AI driver because that is, that's quite a bit more money than we're used to. Okay, so we drove that route. And now we have $145,000, but I'm not going to purchase a bus right now, um, even though I think we're very close to being able to afford one. And the reason is simple. We need to get a CNG bus. And let's see. So we need to have a route with a maximum of 10 stops, and it connects all of these. Okay, this is going to be a very long route. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at our employees. So you can see we've got uh, two that have now leveled up. They're now journeymen. They make a little bit more per week, but they also make more money for us each week. And then we've got one apprentice that is not all that far from leveling up. And of course, this would be the uh, most recent hire that I made. Let's see. Uh, I would imagine that as we continue to level up 
that we will get fewer and fewer apprentices in here and maybe some more journeymen. Uh, looks like right now, okay, we have one journeyman and the rest are apprentice level. Okay, so not quite yet. Uh, let's go back to our stats. One thing I do want to see real quick, ads. All right, so 4,000. So it looks like we get, what, 1,000 per route for the week? Okay, that's not very much money. That's, that's not very much at all. But I guess it is what it is for now. Maybe some of the ads that we can unlock further on down in the game will, like you can see here, looks like we're going to unlock another ad once we get done with these objectives. So not bad. Not bad. I mean, I'm hoping, hoping that $1,000 a week is not all we can get maximum because that's, that's just not a whole lot. Okay, let's go ahead and start out on this route here. So I have a route with a maximum of 10 stops. Okay, going from agricultural. Okay, let's actually move this around. I'm going to go ahead and pin this one so we can get this out of the way and open up some more of this map. There is the map. It would be nice if I could see more of the map uh, a lot easier. So let's see, agricultural zone. Then we're going here to, I'm going to call that uh, Schober Grounds. Then we need to go to Oakville. And then here as well. Now I'm going to assume that we don't have to do these in order because obviously we want to do this one and then end there. So it looks like what we're going to need to do is just simply do one of these. Okay, that's not a huge deal. So let's go ahead and start up a new route. And so agricultural zones, let's see, I can do two stop or it's yeah, minimum two stops. That'll give me eight. So I can pick up a couple of uh, extra ones. Let's see, how do I want to do this? I think because these are some very nice ones. Um, I don't know if it was agricultural zone or the, or the industry zone that was the extra money that we got. So what I want to do is I'm going to try to do one, two, and why won't you let me see again? These names are getting in my way. All right, so I'm going to pick up three here in this area, try to give us some extra money, and then we'll get out onto the road. And let's see. Now we could do one, two, and then do, well, no. Yeah, this just isn't going to work out the way I want it to, but I guess we'll just have to go with it. Uh, and then we'll pick up one, two, and then we'll swing back around and come back out. We'll pick up one, two there. And then one, two there. Okay, that'll give us nine. And let's go ahead and save that and see if it gives us credit. Okay, it did. I figured it would. I didn't know if, about the, the order of these last two there. All right, so that seems to be... Okay, but of course, it's going to take us a little while uh, to drive that, and which is going to push our video a little bit long. So now that we have that, uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and pin this one. Assign at least one driver, only assign CNG buses. Okay, so it looks like whenever we get done with this one, we should have uh, some money, but I don't think we're going to have enough money for a CNG bus because if we come back over to the bus garage and then go to the shop so the CNG is at level 9 and of course we're right there at it so once we get done with this driving this next route that should push us up to level 9 and in doing so that'll make this available but the price is just not going to get us there uh, it's and as far as I know we can't borrow any money in the game which is perfectly fine so what I will probably try to do is do a little work behind the scenes off camera and try to earn us a little bit of extra money. And that way, whenever we come back next time, we'll be able to drive this new route. Because the more I look at this, that's going to drive us way over our uh, a lot of time here on this video. And so whenever we come back this next time, uh, we'll actually drive this particular route. And, uh, and by then we should have enough money to actually go ahead and uh, purchase 
a CNG bus. But yeah, this is, looks like it's going to cost us some money here going forward, if I'm reading that correctly. So that's going to do it for this particular episode. Thank you very much for joining me, and stay tuned as we continue our Let's Play series of Bus Simulator 18.